Howdy, Governor. Oh, hi, my name is Rob Leonard, known across Alberta as Alberta's History Wrangler. So I'm here, I'm actually here, Lieutenant Governor of Alberta, for Honor Lois Mitchell. It's interesting, all those who are in today in the, the rail car, they actually won or they were finalists in either a poetry contest or in fact an essay contest. And this is actually the second contest, the one last year is for Canada's 150th birthday. And last year over 2,000 poems were submitted. And I love the Aspen Crossing Railway, it's absolutely my favorite railway in Western Canada, and all Canada for that matter. She my idea to have the finalists and the winners to accompany her honor here today on the Aspen Crossing Railway. So it's a royal train. I'm Lieutenant Governor Lois Mitchell, and I'm thrilled to be with our um, students from grade four to grade nine that entered our wonderful contest. Don't forget when you ever, ever, ever talk to any of your parents or your team, make sure you say it's Lieutenant Governor, because almost everybody thinks it's Lieutenant Governor. Uh, that's America, it's Lieutenant Governor. My name is Logan Meadows and I'm from Champion School. I won an Albertan uh, poetry contest about agriculture. I was one of the winners. When I first became Lieutenant Governor, we talked about how important it was to really celebrate the heroes and in the history of Alberta. So he's the one that suggested this Aspen train. Her honor's big cause during her five year term is history and, and education. So it's very much, very much timely how it ties to the poetry contest based on Alberta historical characters. I love learning, I'm a lifelong learner. And I think this is what it is all about, is learning. I didn't know anything really about how the, the, the track came all the way here. I love meeting Jason and his father, who are the ones that own this wonderful Aspen train, and that it actually is open from the beginning of May until December for this Polar Express. And then I found out, because I'm very proud of anything to do with Alberta, that that Polar Express, for one of a train trip, is ranked number two in all of North America. How good is that? Congratulations, you're in the cream of the crop. But further, I'd like to invite some samples of students to come here and share the poem. Stumbling horses, whipping reins, thundering hooves, dirt goes flying, stinging eyes. Whipping hair, blasting breezes, one that freezes. Battling teams, pushing, shoving, jostling past first. So, four, five, and six, it was a poetry contest, and seven, eight, nine, it was an essay contest. And it was all about agriculture because we feel that agriculture is so important to our province. And we are just thrilled, and we're going to go back now, and we're going to hear some of the poems, because they're from all over. Imagine as far as Grand Prairie. I mean, we are so thrilled to have this wonderful mixture of 24 students from all over Alberta. In 1912, he took the lead and was there to see the first stampede. It wasn't easy, and there were a few bumps, but the popularity of the stampede saw jumps. A hundred years later, stampede is one of a kind. We thank you, Guy Wiedek, for an idea so fine. From pancakes to bull riding and cowboys galore, the Calgary Stampede is one to adore. And that's why I'm so thrilled to be here, because you meet so many unbelievable people from all over Alberta. And so that's to me what it's all, it's about these wonderful young people. You know, they're already leaders, they're already there, and that's what makes it so special.